What's up guys, Jerem here and uh, welcome back to episode 4 of Editing for Dummies and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add screen pumps to your edits and sync them up with the song and uh, I'll give you guys an example right here uh, let me turn the volume a little bit alright, but uh, you'll see every time there's a beat the screen pumps in and a flash comes up and I'll show you guys the um, the pumping today. But here you go, watch this. So that's pretty much it. Um, every time that it when it pumps out, pumps right on like a bass beat or something like that on a good beat. And uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Probably should have had After Effects open already, but you kind of want to you want to try to find a song that has a beat to it. Um, I know a lot of songs do, but I'm just gonna be using this song today because right in the beginning it has like a um a really good beat. So every time it was like it would go da 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 right on the bass drop that's when the screen pump is going to come out so uh, once you're in After Effects um, make a new composition um, import a clip I'll just take a clip from here drag your clip in drag your song in and uh, drag your song onto the uh, timeline. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just listen for all the beats in the song. And every time one comes up, you're gonna press the little star um, on your keypad, like on the right side of your computer. How there's a bunch of numbers, not on the top row, but on the side row. Uh, it's in the top right corner. You're gonna press that every time there's a beat, and it'll make a marker on your timeline of where you're gonna have to place, um, like all your screen pumps. So here we go. Okay. So there it is. Um, you should, it should kind of look even, like this, so, it's like one, two, one, two, one, two. This one is kind of messed up right there. Um, hold on, I'm going to go through it again. Uh, you should kind of keep doing it and keep trying to get it perfect every time. Um, and maybe if they're big beat uh, sounds, you can just press LL on here and see every time that there is one. Let's see if you zoom in. Um, right here where there's this line, there's this line, line. So that could happen too. So I'm just gonna drag it over. Oh, thanks. But uh, sometimes there's like more music in the background when there's a beat. So you might not be able to do this, but if there's not, then you're just gonna have to go by your ear and press it um, on your own pace, I guess you can say. But, um,. So yeah, I guess that's good. But uh so just remember you want to come up to the RAM preview button. And just listen to every beat. And every time you hear a beat, press the star key on the top right corner of your keypad. And then so once you have those, you want to go up to your clip and line up with the marker. Um, go like a frame before it so right here is probably good and uh, so then what you want to do is you want to go under this clip click the arrow down go to transform hit the little stopwatch key at um, 100 because this is what the or hit it at whatever the um, stock uh, setting is because sometimes you're going to have to move in the clip and it changes and stuff but whatever it is just keyframe it at the normal one go up a frame then I'm gonna bring it in 
Um, I usually do about in the 140 somewhere around there, but that's personal preference. You can do whatever you want. And then once you're there, you drag it up to almost at the second one, and you go back over here and put 100 in. So it gives it the effect of comes up and then it boom, and then it goes back down, and then there'll be another one right here. And uh, an easy way to just do a lot of screen pumps is to copy your first um, keyframes by pressing Control C and then Control V, and I'll just place them there, and then that will create another. Uh, screen pump right there instead of having to go through all those steps again so you just want to go to all the spots and V and go up here V Kurtle V This, this one will just be the last one, and um, mine might be off a little bit, but your guys' should be uh, on more, because you guys should take your time, but I'm kind of rushing to show you guys how to do it. So as you're seeing in the ramp preview, it shows you what the screen pumps are going to look like. Um, I wouldn't recommend it doing it during the shot like this is, but I was just using this clip as an example. Usually you should do it before the shot and not during the shot because it looks better or after the shot looks good too. So uh gonna play here in a second. Or my after effects can just not respond. So there you go. I'll show it again. So that's a really good effect for um, after the shot. It looks really good, and uh, before the shot, and especially in your first clip leading up to the shot. So um, you can also, if you wanted to, uh, go up here and uh, look up. CC light burst. Uh, you have to have CC effects for this. If you don't have CC effects, you can just do exposure. But that's not. A, 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 I like CC light burst a lot better. I think it looks a lot more clean. And you go up and you drag it into your clip and put this down to zero. And then find where the screen pumps in. Now you go to the frame before, right before it pumps in. And you keyframe it at zero, then go up another frame, and then put it at 50, and raise the intensity, make it brighter, and then I usually end it uh, where the uh, screen pump or the screen pump ends too. So you want to come up to ray length and go to zero again, and then that makes it look like that. So we'll watch it. So it pumps out and it flashes and then it dies down and then you can just do the same thing of copying and pasting it every time and that's basically it um, also it looks really nice if you add some twitch right where it um, pops out because that, that just makes it look really clean so that's another tip and uh, so that's it for this tutorial guys but uh, please like and uh, comment if you guys like this video and uh, please sub it really helps me out a lot and I keep trying to get a partnership, but I don't think I have enough subs yet. And, uh, but yeah, so you guys should really help me get there. So, yeah, peace.